Okay, back in my server lab, and I thought I'd just do a quick video on my uh, tape library. This is a Dell PowerVault uh, PV132T. Uh, this contains numerous amount of tapes, something like 12 or 13, I don't know, something like that. And uh, it's a tape library, basically. And it has a robot built into it, which is fantastic. These are the caddies that uh, the tapes will go in. That's one. This is caddy two. There's some tapes loaded into that one. And inside, there is the, the tape drive itself. And next to that on the left is a tape. And they're all tape storage racks at the back there as well. And in front here, this, this caddy is actually the robot that actually selects the tapes and moves them around. Uh, so it's a very uh, clever bit of kit, really. It can take another drive at the back there. It will take two. So it's uh, built for quite industrial backupping. Uh, Ultrium LTO3 is the tape drive itself. And... Uh, yeah, so this has all my, all my ISOs on it. It's actually virtualized. What I've done is virtualized the tape drive onto my ESXi6 server up here. This has got various uh, servers and stuff on it. It's currently got on it um, Windows 2003 for this because this is, this is pretty old. But it really is a brilliant backup, so that's what I use it for. And uh, yeah, it's virtualized through ESXi6. VMware recognizes it. It's a uh, pass through as a SCSI device and is all loaded in there and works flawlessly, so it's brilliant. Each tape holds around 200 gigabytes. Uh, that will hold 400 gigabytes when they're compressed. And they're LTO Ultrium 2s. So what will happen now, I put these tapes back in, these cartridges, you'll hear the robot come to life. You might be able to hear that now. So what that's now going to do is to if I open this door up at the side, this is the loading door. So it's going to shuffle the tapes through and scan them and see which tapes are actually in, in here at the moment. So there's the uh, barcode scanner. Let's recognize that tape. Now it says status. That will place that tape now into the... It's now moving it to one of the storage bays. You know, go through each one of them caddies and it will check how many tapes are in there. And of course from the software on the PC, which is Veritas, you can pull out any tape at any time via the barcode to, to use. Another tape. It's recognised and they're going to be placed. There it goes, being caddied away. Similar to the uh, big storage places they use here. Uh, Amazon and automatic delivery systems. So to add, an, add a new tape, I find a tape with a barcode on, which is one of these. Big cartridge tapes. Set it in the machine, around the right way preferably. I had the right way to start with. It's because it's, it's busy selecting actually, that's why it won't go in. So you can hear it at the moment, you might be able to hear it on this, I'm not sure. It's actually running through each caddy, checking how many tapes are there. So I'm going to take my tape yet. No, here comes the caddy, it's still scanning. Okay. Another security door is open, thank you. Come on. Okay, so the tape's gone in. There goes the barcode scanner. That's scanned. Now it will come back to here. 
So stay, come back to here. It's sitting there, just behind there. You might be able to see. Not sure you can. Now I have to actually manually place that. I can auto auto load loads in one go. Let's go to command, and we go to import import data. The black marks here are tapes already in place, and these are the drives and the the door where it was. So it's now being moved. It's now putting it in place. It says putting, and import data is complete.